Hello and welcome back. Okay, so last time we kind of left this up in the air as to why we're getting the results that we're getting. Um, and this time I'm going to talk a little bit more about why we're seeing these results. Um, to start off, this is a static stress test. And so we're looking at how this machine responds to static loads. In other words, it's like a chair. A chair is static, it doesn't move. When you sit on a chair and you settle in, you're not moving anymore. You are static. Dynamic means that you are moving, things are moving, or there's a vibration or something like that, and we'll get into that. What we're looking at is we're looking at the forces that don't move. What we see is that this machine responds really well to static forces. And so then the question arose, why, why do we build these things so beefy? It's just sort of like that old wives tale of just build it beefy. Everything beefy is good. Uh, you see all over the forums, at least that's what I see when I read them. Uh, just always build a bigger machine, build, build a bigger machine. But why? All right, so here's, here's what I think is going on. Again, this is static stress. We were looking at static loads. We did not look at... Um, we did not look at anything dynamic. And when you think of a cutter, a tool, going around and around and around, it's got its teeth, its flutes. Each time that flute hits the material, it's gonna cause a little, like a high spike of force. And then when it gets off, it'll, it'll go down. It basically creates this really nasty vibration. And what happens is, is those vibrations, if they're at the right frequency, they'll reach this thing called uh, natural frequency, or in this case, it's called resonance. Yeah, I have a good example where like, if Jimmy is trying to push Lucy on the swing and Lucy only goes so high, like Jimmy obviously can't lift Lucy all the way up above his head on the first push. And so he pushes her maybe three or four times and she swings up higher and higher and higher, right? It's the same thing here. Whereas when, if, if, if Jimmy pushed Lucy when she was at the top, she'd just come down and fall on him. <laughs> It'd be a bad deal. But if Jimmy pushes her while she's going forwards through the bottom, then it'll be in that natural frequency. It'll be in that resonance. It'll keep growing. Um, have you ever heard of the Tacoma Bridge? Every engineering student, I'm sure, has probably heard about the Tacoma Bridge. The Tacoma Bridge was a bridge that basically they, they say fell down because the wind blew at a certain, um, at a certain wind speed and it fell down because it reached its resonance frequency. It's kind of crazy that this bridge fell down because they didn't, they didn't think of frequencies or resonance. And so the reason why we use cast iron opposed from steel is because cast iron has a much better, um, has a far superior um, dampening effect to it. So yeah, it's really interesting. Um, so yeah, that's that's why we need to use cast iron. Why people say build things beefy because the more weight, the more size, the better dampening it's gonna have. Um, yeah. So I hope this was helpful. Anyways, have a great day.